For a considerable period, the flamboyant Johnny Morrissey had been indulging in the Costa del Crime, showcasing opulence in his lavish mansion that bore resemblance to the grandeur of the Roman Emperor Nero. Morrissey, basking in a sense of invincibility, found himself in a precarious situation when exposed as a pivotal figure within the Kinahan cartel. The U.S. authorities had officially sanctioned him for his involvement in money laundering activities. Forced to escape, the vodka tycoon's once charmed life took a dramatic turn. In September 2022, the final act unfolded for Morrissey, a seasoned player in the shadowy realms of the underworld. Delving into the life and illicit activities of the Kinahan crime cartel's enforcer and primary financial figure, known to his Irish neighbors as Johnny Cash, reveals a tale marked by meticulous police planning. In a well-executed operation, Johnny Morrissey, suspected of serving as the chief money launderer for the Kinahan crime syndicate, was successfully apprehended at his hideaway in Malaga in September 2022. The operation involved a collaborative effort by Spanish police, supported by the Irish Guards, Britain's National Crime Agency, and the United States Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA. Converging on Morrissey's villa, the law enforcement team surrounded him at gunpoint, leading to a decisive arrest. Johnny Morrissey had garnered notoriety as a pivotal member of the Kinahan Cartel, and his apprehension followed sanctions imposed by the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control. This significant development also implicated other individuals, including Christopher Kinahan Sr., along with his sons Daniel and Christopher Jr. In April 2022, Johnny Morrissey found himself among the seven individuals sanctioned by the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control. According to U.S. authorities, Christy Kinahan and his sons spearheaded a criminal network with a staggering value surpassing 1 billion euros. To intensify the pursuit of justice, U.S. officials announced a substantial 5 million euro reward for information that could lead to the apprehension of the top three figures in the Kinahan organization. This move further constricted the net around Ireland's most infamous criminal syndicate. Law enforcement authorities assert that Morrissey, a long-standing associate of the Kinahans, served as an enforcer and played a pivotal role in facilitating international drug shipments from South America. However, his involvement went beyond muscle and logistics. It is alleged that Morrissey laundered a substantial sum, exceeding 200 million euros in the 18 months leading up to his arrest, earning him the title of the cartel's principal financial figure in Spain. What led Morrissey to become one of the most prominent money launderers in the underworld is a tale rooted in his unconventional journey. Growing up in the Rochdale area of Manchester, he departed school at the age of 15. In the mid-1990s, Morrissey made a significant move to Ireland, choosing the picturesque town of Kinsale as his new base. Here he embarked on the transformation of a two-story building near the waterfront, turning it into a high-end restaurant. The establishment, named Annalise, made waves in the community as everything, including the hefty 600,000 euro restoration costs, seemed to be paid for in cash. Despite the commotion, Kinsale locals regarded Morrissey as a charming and sociable man. He frequented the town's bars and gained a positive reputation for regularly contributing to charitable causes. Little did the community know that Morrissey had a darker side, holding a notorious reputation as a hitman in the underworld. Indeed, one of the reasons for his relocation to Ireland was his standing as a hitman for gangsters in England. This reputation, coupled with Morrissey's extravagant lifestyle, attracted the attention of the IRA. Ultimately, Morrissey found himself paying substantial sums, totaling tens of thousands of pounds, to the provisional IRA for protection, a hidden layer to the seemingly charming facade he presented to the world. The narrative surrounding Morrissey takes a darker turn as it's suggested that a senior IRA figure, connected to the tragic Birmingham pub bombings of 1974 that claimed 21 lives, was the individual tasked with collecting funds from the suspected money launderer linked to the cartel. This period saw Ireland emerge as an attractive haven for criminals who viewed the country as a favorable location for illicit activities. Its proximity to England and the absence of language barriers provided a setting where nefarious individuals could lead relatively undisturbed lives, shielded from extensive scrutiny by authorities. During this phase, Morrissey allegedly engaged in purchasing cocaine from Russian gangs and orchestrating shipments to be dropped off along the Irish coast for distribution in both the UK and Ireland. However, 
A pivotal moment in Ireland's fight against organized crime came with the establishment of the Criminal Assets Bureau in 1996. This marked a significant blow to the Irish underworld, and Morrissey, an Englishman with a notorious background, found himself among their first targets. Upon investigating Morrissey's background through Interpol, Cab was astonished to uncover the presence of such a dangerous criminal within their midst. This revelation prompted a series of raids on properties linked to Morrissey in County Cork. In these searches, law enforcement uncovered a handgun, half a kilo of cocaine, and a stash of cash. Additionally, they discovered Cartier jewelry, presumably used by Morrissey for payments to Russian suppliers, shedding light on the intricate web of criminal activities he was entangled in. Following the raids, Morrissey embarked on a journey to Russia. However, his venture took a dark turn when he failed to settle his outstanding debt, resulting in gangsters breaking his arms and legs. Until that point, the criminal gang had operated openly, acquiring businesses and homes, and maintaining bank accounts in their own names, rendering them vulnerable targets for agents of the Criminal Assets Bureau, who were eager to wield their newfound powers. By December 1997, the pressure intensified on Morrissey. He received a substantial tax demand exceeding 100,000 euro, leading to the search of his property and the freezing of significant assets, including cars and jewelry valued at hundreds of thousands of euros. It soon became apparent that Morrissey was orchestrating an assassination plot against the cab officer who had signed the tax demand. Irish law enforcement, however, thwarted the murder attempt, unraveling Morrissey's true identity. Exposed and facing imminent consequences, Morrissey was compelled to flee to Spain in the early 2000s. This turn of events marked a significant chapter in his criminal endeavors and highlighted the relentless pursuit of justice by authorities determined to dismantle the intricate web of illicit activities he was involved in. In 2008, as part of the collaborative investigation known as Operation Shovel, authorities from Spain, the United Kingdom, Ireland and Belgium joined forces to target the Kinahan cartel. This heightened scrutiny prompted Johnny Morrissey to shift gears and seek a more legitimate source of income. Exploring new avenues, he considered starting an internet business in Panama. The plan involved creating a website named theratbook.com intended to allow subscribers to check if individuals with criminal convictions resided in their neighborhoods. While specific details remain unclear, leaked emails from Mossack Fonseca, the law firm central to the Panama Papers scandal, exposed discussions about aiding Morrissey in setting up bank accounts to process subscription payments for the internet site through a shell company. However, a stumbling block emerged as the requirement to maintain a physical office in Panama posed profitability challenges for Morrissey, given the nature of the proposed ghost office. Over time, Morrissey became closely associated with Daniel Kinahan and rose within the Kinahan cartel's ranks. He forged connections with Dublin gangster David Douglas, whose demise in 2016 was allegedly orchestrated on the orders of Fat Freddy Thompson. Morrissey was frequently seen in the company of armed robber Kevin Lynch. Additionally, he has been identified as an associate of Irish criminal George the Penguin Mitchell, now recognized as part of the five major suspects implicated in the Exclu network a criminal operation that was dismantled after being covertly hacked by Dutch police. These intricate connections shed light on Morrissey's evolving role within the Kinahan cartel and his expanding network within the criminal underworld. Law enforcement authorities believe that the Exclu network, a criminal operation taken down by Dutch police, was utilized by gangs engaged in high-level organized crime, primarily centered in the Netherlands, but extending its reach into Sweden, France, Germany, and Italy. Despite being a prime suspect in several unsolved murders in the UK, Johnny Morrissey skillfully managed to elude significant criminal convictions. He evolved into a trusted lieutenant, playing a pivotal role in concealing illicit funds within the criminal network. Morrissey established a sophisticated network of companies, Nero Drinks among them, which was brought to public attention in April 2022, when the US Treasury revealed its connection to the Kinahan laundering network. Nero Drinks, marketed as a premium vodka brand, had gained popularity in elite venues in Spain. Leveraging their connections with celebrities and affluent socialites, Morrissey and his wife Nicola projected an image of successful business owners. However, beneath this facade, they led a double life as major money launderers. Reports indicated that the Kinahan cartel was infuriated with Morrissey for deviating from explicit instructions on how to launder their drug money. The cartel's typical modus operandi involved using legitimate businesses such as shops, bars, nightclubs, and property firms. Morrissey's divergence from these established protocols created tension within the criminal organization, 
emphasizing the complexities and internal conflicts within the underworld that Morrissey navigated while evading law enforcement scrutiny. According to sources from Spanish intelligence, mob boss Daniel Kinahan holds Johnny Morrissey responsible for attracting law enforcement's attention by engaging in money laundering for the cartel during his tenure as the head of the prominent Nero Vodka Company. Suspicions surrounding Morrissey and his wife Nicola surfaced in 2021 when Spanish authorities took note of their lavish expenditures on the Costa del Sol, despite Nero Vodka displaying a lack of profitability. The investigation gained momentum following the seizure of 200 kilograms of cocaine and nearly half a million euros in cash concealed in vehicles. Law enforcement executed searches at residential and business locations in Spain and the UK, including places in Glasgow and Hayward Rochdale associated with Nero drinks. Detectives uncovered that the laundered funds had not been physically moved out of Spain, but were dispersed globally using the underground money transfer system known as Hawala. Spanish police believed that Morrissey was well aware that his days of freedom were numbered after being exposed as a key member of the cartel. His decision to hold his annual birthday celebration in August, as opposed to December, was interpreted as a signal that he anticipated an imminent arrest. This revelation sheds light on the intricate web of activities Morrissey was involved in and the tightening grip of law enforcement on his illicit endeavors. Johnny Morrissey now confronts the grim reality of spending the remainder of his life behind bars. Presently confined in the high-security Al Haran de la Torre prison, he awaits trial. Moreover, he faces the looming possibility of extradition to the U.S., where stringent penalties for money laundering could significantly escalate the severity of his legal problems. The criminal underworld anxiously awaits to discern whether Morrissey will maintain silence or divulge information. As the legal proceedings unfold, his choices could have far-reaching implications for others entangled in illicit activities. Share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for our upcoming content. Thank you.